A stick? Do you have a bug on me? Watch it back, was there a bug on me? Today on Goes Your Hot List, we're about to get extra caffeinated because we have the Bodo Cold Brew Coffee Mix. Here it is, the Bodum Cold Brew Coffee Maker. It's a pretty simple device. It's got just a couple of moving parts here. Um, it's essentially just a giant French press. Uh, two different lids, we'll talk about that in a second. Let's talk about the construction. Uh, the handle has a nice grippy texture to it. You got, got to do the knock test. It's got a nice solid construction. Um, I think I could drop this on the ground and it would be unlikely to crack. We're not, we're not gonna do that. Most of it is made out of plastic. In fact, all of it except for this, uh, this metal rod and the screen, of course. It's really not that complicated of a machine. The coffee and water are going to go in here. We're going to put that lid on to seal it and stick that in the fridge for a couple of hours. After it's all brewed up nice, we're just gonna stick, do you have a bug on me? Watch it back, was there a bug on me? I feel like there's a bug on me. I can't get away from it. Eagle-eyed viewer, spot the bug. Or <laughs> I'm going crazy, I've had too much cold brew. So after that's all done, we're going to stick the plunger on. I really like this locking mechanism so it's not gonna shoot out or spill anywhere. And then we're just gonna plunge it down. Cold brew can definitely just be made in a mason jar, sat out on your counter. But I think for $12.99, it's hard to beat a gadget like this. If you were to use a mason jar, you'd have to filter it, pour it, make a big mess. I think this is going to save you a lot of time and effort. For our purposes, we're going to use an 8 to 1 coffee to water ratio, and that's going to give us sort of a cold brew concentrate. It has a lightweight design. It fits right in my fridge door. I can just leave it there overnight, and then when I wake up, yikes. Did I break it? Guys, I might have broken it. Crisis averted. This top part actually comes apart for cleaning. That's good to know. I thought I broke it. There's really not a whole lot to say about the construction, so let's get to brewing. Before we do that, I want to talk about our sponsor, Plata Coffee. They donated all of our coffee for today's video. It's a beautiful space, a really cool environment. The coffee they donated today is Iconic Coffee Roasters. It's based in Santa Fe, New Mexico. It's great coffee, and it's even better if it's being brewed by Plata Coffee. So after you make your own cold brew, head on down to Plata Coffee, get some extra coffee for the day, tell them Gozier Hot List sent you, and you'll get If you tell them Gozier Hot List sent you, they'll smile and nod. They'll be like, oh yeah, that, that guy from YouTube. I remember we gave him some coffee that time. Go right now to Plata Coffee in Sawmill Market. All right, here we go. First we're going to add our coffee, and I already pre-measured that, it's about two cups, so we'll add all that in there, make sure we get it all in. And then next we're going to add our water. This is just filtered water. Now I'm weird, I didn't have a vase, so I just put it in this fancy bottle. Looks like I'm at Macaroni Grill. We're just going to pour all of that out. What is that speck on the bottom? Don't worry about it. Keep it glugging in there. Cool. I realized I needed way more water, so here we go. We're going to pour it all the way up to the lip. want to get as much liquid out of this as we can. Here we go. Oh, spilled a little bit. That's okay. Then we just want to throw our lid on, and we're pretty much all set. Oh, just kidding. I forgot. I did not stir it. So I'm gonna get out my, uh, it's my green bean scooping spoon. It's pretty much the only thing we use a slotted spoon for. We're just gonna spin it around here a couple times, get it all mixed up. Oh, counterclockwise, mixing it up. There we go, and we're all done pretty much. Just throw that lid back on, and there you have it. Thumbs up, thumbs down. So we're gonna stick that coffee in the fridge overnight, We'll be back tomorrow. Mm. 
All right, it's the next day, so let's go see how the cold brew's doing. Is it the next day, or maybe I just changed my shirt? You'll never know. I don't know if you can see this. It's already done some sort of natural filtering out a lot of the sediments down here at the bottom. So at this point, we're going to remove that first lid. It's a little dirty there. And we're going to put on the sort of French press head here. Sometimes this is a little tricky to get on. Maybe that's a negative. All right, lock it in place. And now we're gonna plunge it. That's it, and there you have it. Oh, I totally forgot it was concentrate. Much better after adding some water. Overall, I, I really do like the ease and simplicity of this. Of course, all of this could have been done in just a regular mason jar, but if you wanna take it one step up, for $12.99, it's really hard to beat a simple machine like this. I haven't tried it, but I bet this could be used for just regular coffee too as a French press. The pros. For $12.99, this machine is hard to beat. It's a solid construction made of plastic. It hasn't worn out. I've had it for a couple months now. It is a pretty good size with uh, 12 cups total. Of course, because you're having to use a high coffee to water ratio, uh, you're not gonna get quite that much, but still it's a good amount of cold brew coffee concentrate. I just like that little button it has. It's a satisfying noise. I think it's a good design. It looks good sitting in the fridge and it's nice that you don't have to get a big filter out and pour it through. The cons. I don't know how this thing is gonna hold up over time. I have already had a little bit of slippage when it comes to the plunger. Um, it slipped a little bit sideways and let in some of the grounds. That does not make for good coffee. If you don't get the grind just right, pushing that plunger down can be very difficult and sometimes it results in some grounds getting through. Overall, I'm gonna give the Bodum Cold Brew Coffee Maker a 7.9. Is it too high? I don't think so. For this price point, it's a great machine. Thank you all so much for watching Goes Your Hot List. Remember to like and subscribe down below. Leave a comment, let me know how you like your iced coffee. And we'll see you next time on Goes Your Hot List.